So let's go live to our reporter on the ground, Parker Wilson, um, where he's been uh, to find out what's happening there. Now, Parker, where have you been and what's the situation on the ground? All right, so, Breeze, I've been to the Ablikmo North constituency this morning, and currently I am at the Ayawasu North constituency where voting is underway. And I must say that the electoral officer, before the start of the process, um, gave some kind of education and walked the agent through what they should expect so that in case they see anything happening, they will have a better appreciation of the process. So the EC officer is here. The security personnel are here. I can tell you that the heavy security presence to ensure law and order. The delegates would have to go through about two security checkpoints before gaining access to the voting center because the police doesn't want any surprises. So if you don't have any accreditation, you are not allowed entry to the voting uh, premises or the voting center. Uh, Pastor Watson is the electoral officer for the Ayawaso North Municipal Assembly, and he's here with me. Sir, thank you very much for your time. Now, I mean, first of all, I want to know how many people have voted so far? Thank you very much for this question. I want to say good morning to all viewers all over Ghana and I also know of Municipal. So far we can say that we have 100 and about 120 delegates have passed through the voting process successfully. But have you had any challenges as, uh, as far as this selection is concerned? Thank you very much. So far there will not be any skirmish or challenge. Uh, everything is under control. You know, in as much as the electoral commission is concerned, especially I also know municipal, we believe in and taking people through the process of election, letting them know the whims and caprices of the work being done by the commission, so that they have an in-depth understanding of the process. In as much as possible, they are also stakeholders of the elections because uh, successful election is not only done by electoral commission. It's all a sundry on board. So I made them to understand that they are playing a cogent role to bring this election of the executive le consensus elections of consensus or the house of to a success today. Because without them, we cannot be successful. Because we need them as they need us. Thank you very much. All right. So um, that's Apostle uh, Watson there, the electoral officer for the I also uh, municipal assembly. He's the one in charge and clearly it's been a success for him. He's expecting that by 3 p.m. Um, he would end the polls. But he actually issued a warning. He said, let me, let me ask him. Uh, before the start of the election, he said of the voting, he said that at 3 p.m. you are ending the polls. Have you changed your mind? Or when people are in the queue, uh, you allow them to vote till the end of the day? Thank you very much, Mr. Parker, for this good question. The fact of the issue is that, you know, the process ought to commence at 9 a.m. Right. And with the Electoral Commission, we were here exactly 8 a.m. waiting for the party and their delegates to come so that we start the voting process. But it seems they were having one or two uh, putting things together. <clears throat> so we actually start around 10. But as we speak, by law, if we are voting and there are people in the queue, in respect of the fact that the voting process will end 3 p.m. So far as they are in the queue, they will continue to vote. But what will happen is that we will get a peace corp to stand at the back of the last delegate so that we'll see all the delegates through before we end the poll. Right. Thank you very much once again, Apostle Wasser. So what you are hearing in the background is the, one of the uh, election committee officers calling the polling station executives to bring their members to come and cast their ballot. So that is how the process is being done. It is not uh, as yesterday when all the delegates had to must up or queue up at the voting booth to be and, 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 and vote. This time, what they are doing is that they call polling station by polling station. So if they mention your name, you come with the members within the polling station. If they are 20, they come and they cast their vote. If they are 30, they come and they cast their vote. So, so far, I can say that the process has been smooth and there hasn't been any challenges so far. Mm. Uh, b before you left Ablekuma, how was the situation and how many people had voted as of the time you were leaving? At the time I left Ablekuma, the district, the, di the director of operation, um, um, D DCOP, uh, Mohammed Shraj, 
was now trying to engage the electoral coordinators and the member of parliament to ensure how the conduct of the polls will be. So at the time I left, they hadn't commenced the, the voting. They were looking at the security arrangement where the delegates were filing and cast their ballots. And the issue about whether or not names are, we, are been missing from the album or the register. So these were the issues that they were discussing at the time I left. But there was an assurance that with the security measures put in place, there wasn't going to be any challenges. In fact, just before I came on air, I checked with my sources at the Ablikmanot constituency, and he tells me the process there is equally smooth. People are going through the process safely, just as it's being done here. And so there hasn't been any challenge. There hasn't been any disturbances, no agitation from the uh, delegates whose names were not captured in the voters' register. So Ablikmanot, as far as my sources are concerned, the place is equally calm, and everything is going on smoothly.